Isla is the third and the last day on Isla del Coco. We just swam in from Zingaro over there. We're gonna send an email out to Ecuador now, to the marina in Bahia Caracas. Because they need an email for us so they know we're on the way. That's what they want in Ecuador. And also we're gonna check predict wind. Send you guys a message, you patrons that is. And see whether we can go hiking today. The, the island looks beautiful from this side. Like straight out of Jurassic Park, right? It's pretty awesome, yeah. We're gonna go hike up to the top and take some video on the top. Since our drone got stolen in Costa Rica, this is the only way to show you the beauty of the view from above. Kimmy just fell in. This is like the first two minutes, Kim. Those shoes, I can't walk in them. You're not used to wearing shoes, huh? Dude, also they don't have look, they don't have any profile anymore because they're like five years old. Oh, blame it on the shoes. You think you think you can get up here? Here, give me your hand. Take my hand. Take my hand. Yes. Yes. No, don't take them off. We're 20 minutes into the journey and we're already lost. After 45 minutes of climbing the Brung Mountain and then descending back through waterfalls because we lost the track, we finally started climbing the right mountain and after over an hour, finally our labor started to pay off. The first viewpoint. There's Zingaro. Right there. You are being a huge testicle. I am kicking your ass at this. No, I'm carrying everything and I'm kicking your shit. And you're falling all over the place. Look at you. I'm running up this thing. It's like the fucking Blair Witch Project here. And after risking our lives to bring you, the viewers of our humble YouTube channel, the ultimate entertainment, this was the view we found at the top of the mountain. You can go up there and get a view. It's awesome from up there. Cocos Island is one of the most famous pirate islands in the world. Mostly because there's so much lore about buried treasure here. But the best treasure legend has got to be the treasure of Lima. So the story goes, Lima, Peru was being attacked and the viceroy, the leader at the time, entrusted all of the gold of the city to this British trader named Captain William Thompson. And Thompson and his crew, instead of waiting in the harbor, they decided they were gonna mutiny, kill all of the men that the viceroy left on his boat, and sail straight for Isla del Coco. 
So later on in this story, their boat gets captured. All of the men on the boat are hung for treason, except for Thompson and his first mate. They traded their lives for the information that they knew where the treasure of Lima was and they would take the British there. So the British take them all the way back to the island and just when the boat lands, they escape into the jungle, never to be seen again. The first thing I ever heard about Isla de Coco is that it was a pirate hotspot in the 17th and 18th century. And I was quite surprised because Isla de Coco is so far off in an area of the world where there's barely any wind and it's very easy to get becalmed for weeks at a time. But after now hiking the island and seeing how much fresh water there was and how plentiful food sources like plants or fruit were, I'm not that surprised anymore. Now that the paradise are over on Isla del Coco, only rangers live here that take care of the park and try to keep up with risks to the ecosystem here like pollution and illegal fishing. We thought we were special for saving a turtle. Look at the mountain of these things they have here. They patrol the island and the uh, waters around it every day. In only two years time, the rangers of Coco National Park have freed 128 tunas and retrieved over 500 kilometers of fishing line and over 3,000 fishing buoys. They also confiscated over 500 shark fins as well as 58 dead tunas. 37 sharks were freed that were entangled on fishing lines or intentionally hooked by illegal poachers. The trash found floating is being reused as guidelines for hiking or as way markers. I don't care much about hunting treasures that may or may not exist, especially if I could be spending my time exploring and discovering this beautiful place we live in. The strict protection of the national park in Isla del Coco made all the difference. It was truly amazing to see an ecosystem that was intact and healthy as it should be. So people go out and explore the place you live in because at the end of the day you only love what you know and you only protect what you love. As much as we love the place we're at with this life, it comes time where we have to move on. Behind us is the island of Isla Coco. We spent four nights here. It was awesome. This was definitely a highlight of the trip. But yeah. now, sadly, as always, we have to say goodbye. Beautiful island. If you are cruising in Costa Rica or in the western side of Latin America, you have to come to this island. It's four days there and four days out, plus four days at the island, so you're looking at half a month, but Wow, tiger sharks, hammerhead sharks, Galapagos sharks, reef sharks of all kinds, big stingrays. We didn't see any giant manis, but the people next but to us did. Here. Yeah. And uh, just, I mean, we hiked on the island. It's, it's, it's really, really pretty here. Island paradise. Yeah. I can see why the, the pirates wanted to stay here so long. So 
after three months in Costa Rica, we're finally setting sail and on a course for Ecuador. This will be the first time in both of our lives that we're crossing the equator. Tune in next time for our 600 mile sail and our arrival to South America.